unsanitary, expanding and overcrowded. These camps, home to tens of thousands of asylum seekers, have gone beyond government control. And authorities are clamping down on the flow of people entering Greece. We're proceeding with a plan for closed pre-departure centers, not only because they will stop people from moving around the country, but because a clear message needs to be sent to those who are planning on entering the country illegally when they know that they don't qualify for asylum. Over 33,000 asylum seekers, most of them from Syria and Afghanistan, are housed in camps partway between Turkey and Greece. Three sites on the islands of Lesbos, Chios and Samos are set to close, as 20,000 people will be taken to mainland Greece. The other asylum seekers will be moved to smaller facilities where they'll be locked in until they're either granted asylum or sent back to Turkey. The move comes just weeks after Greece adopted a new law aimed at speeding up the asylum process. But the tightening of procedures has attracted criticism from NGOs, as criteria such as post-traumatic stress disorder will no longer be considered in their application. It's very well documented that people with PTSD um, uh, re-traumatised, uh, get re-traumatised during an asylum interview or find it very difficult to relect, re uh, recollect their experiences. So this could will have, maybe have, likely will have implications on their access to a fair asylum procedure. The moves follow the new Conservative government's promise to step up deportations of those non-eligible for asylum. On some islands, the number of asylum seekers has surpassed the local population. And Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis has accused the EU of treating Greece like a convenient parking spot for refugees and migrants.